The United States government once spent $20 million trying to turn a cat into a walking surveillance device, and the cat was hit by a taxi on its first mission. And this isn't fiction. This is Project Acoustic Kitty, one of the most expensive failures in CIA history where America's premier intelligence agency learned what every cat owner already knows, which is that cats do exactly what they want when they want, and we have the declassified documents to prove it actually happened. During the 1960s, Cold War, the CIA's Directorate of Science and Technology, faced a problem because Soviet officials were meeting in parks and embassies where traditional surveillance was nearly impossible, and hidden microphones were too risky while human agents were too conspicuous. So the CIA came up with the idea after observing that cats could move unnoticed in public spaces, and the logic seemed sound, because cats are small, naturally stealthy, and ubiquitous in urban environments, and people ignore stray cats. So the CIA theorized that with the right technology and training, cats could become perfect, covert listening devices. The project was born from psychologist B. F. Skinner's operant conditioning research, which suggested animal behavior could be shaped through controlled reinforcement, and if rats could be trained to press levers and pigeons to peck keys for food rewards, then surely cats could be conditioned to approach targets for intelligence gathering. Except this ignored one massive problem, which is that cats are not rats or pigeons. But instead of asking any cat owner, the CIA spent five years and twenty million dollars to learn this the hard way. In an era before microchips, when computers filled entire rooms, CIA technicians faced extraordinary challenges, because they had to miniaturize surveillance equipment to fit inside a cat while ensuring the animal still looked and moved naturally, and, working with contractors, they built a three-quarter inch transmitter to embed at the base of the cat's skull. The ear canal turned out to be perfect for the microphone, and the antenna was made from fine wire woven through the cat's fur all the way to the tail, and the batteries were problematic because the cat's size limited them to the smallest batteries which restricted recording time. Victor Marchetti, who worked as special assistant to the CIA director, described what they did by saying they slit the cat open, had to be cut open and have a power pack placed inside its um, abdomen. Uh, wires were run up to its ear, to its cochlea, wires to its brain to determine when it was hungry. Or and this was an hour-long surgery that involved implanting a microphone in the cat's ear canal, a small radio transmitter at the base of its skull, and threading a thin wire antenna through its fur to allow the cat to record and transmit sound while looking completely normal. After all this surgical work, the CIA ran into an immediate problem, which was that the cat would wander off when it got bored, distracted, or hungry, and due to problems with distraction, the cat's sense of hunger had to be addressed in another operation, which means they performed additional surgery to try to override the cat's natural instinct to seek food, and the additional surgical and training expenses brought the total cost to $20 million. At this point, Nobody wanted to be the one to tell their superiors they had wasted millions on high-tech cat accessories. So the project kept going. The training was a complete nightmare, because outside the lab there was no controlling the cat, and it would wander off whenever it felt like it. It would stop and groom itself in the middle of training exercises, and it would get distracted by anything. The declassified documents show that the primary challenge wasn't the surgery, but getting the cat to perform tasks on command. And cats would plop down for naps during operations, and some refused to move with the equipment installed, like those videos where cats wearing sweaters dramatically flopped to the ground. But despite these glaring issues, the project continued for five full years. The first acoustic kitty mission was to eavesdrop on two men in a park outside the Soviet embassy in Washington, D.C. And CIA agents parked a surveillance van across the street with technicians monitoring equipment while handlers prepped their feline operative. And the cat was supposed to casually stroll to the park bench where two Soviet officials were sitting and hang around picking up their conversation with its ear microphone, and they slid open the van door and released the cat. Except a taxi came and ran him over. And there they were sitting in the van with all those dials and the cat was dead. Though this account was later disputed in 2013 by Robert Wallace. Out of the cat, the cat again resown for the second time and lived a long and happy life. A former CIA director who claimed the cat wasn't killed and instead had the equipment removed and lived a long life. But the taxi death story became the widely circulated version. By 1967, the project was scrapped, and a closing memorandum said that the researchers believed they could train cats to move short distances, but that the environmental and security factors in using this technique in a real foreign situation forced them to conclude that for their intelligence purposes it would not be practical 
which is perhaps the greatest understatement in CIA history, and the agency's report tried to present the experiment as a success, lauded its scientists for being models for scientific pioneers, because they proved that cats can indeed be trained to move short distances, which is like spending $20 million to prove water is wet, and the project was disclosed in 2001 when intelligence documents were declassified through the Freedom of Information Act. And when the documents became public through the National Security Archive, the reaction was a mix of disbelief, amusement, and your tax dollars at work eye-rolling. To put the cost in perspective, $20 million in 1960s money would be worth well over $200 million today. And that's a staggering amount to spend on something that failed so spectacularly. And the heavily redacted memo titled Views on Trained Cats, held in the National Security Archive, shows how desperate the CIA was to spin this as anything other than a complete waste, because the memo reads that their final examination of trained cats convinced them the program would not lend itself in a practical way to their highly specialized needs. But they also said that discovering cats can be trained to move short distances was in itself a remarkable scientific achievement. Project Acoustic Kitty wasn't the agency's only bizarre Cold War experiment, as they also developed fake tiger droppings containing seismic sensors for Vietnam jungle surveillance, trained ravens to deposit listening devices on windowsills, and worked with the Navy on dolphin programs to find underwater mines. While those animal programs had varying degrees of success, the key difference was that dogs, dolphins, and birds can actually be trained reliably to perform tasks for rewards, whereas cats simply refuse to cooperate. And the program was officially run by the Office of Technical Service, which later admitted in 2013 through former director Robert Wallace that the real reason for cancellation wasn't the taxi incident, but simply that cats refused to follow commands no matter what surgical modifications or training methods were used. And, interestingly, the agency's own official website now acknowledges Project Acoustic Kitty while defending that the cat wasn't mistreated and calling the taxi death story a joke that was taken seriously by the public. And, while the project files remain heavily redacted with most operational details still classified today, what we do know is that between 1964 and 1967, some of America's top scientists and engineers spent five years trying to outsmart basic feline psychology with a budget that would exceed $200 million in today's money, making it a testament to Cold War paranoia, where even the most absurd ideas received serious funding and multi-year development cycles.